Hi guys, welcome to another Pathways Wrap. Uh, looking at games just gone on the weekend in our senior male Pathways. Uh, first of all, our Jersey flag game against Victoria Thunderbolts, unfortunately due to weather, uh, had to be moved away from Acor Stadium and a big shout out to the Randwick City Council uh, for keeping Snake Park Maroubra open for us so we could get that game of footy to go ahead. Um, unfortunately, in a really, really tight contest, that one there, uh, our flag did go down 24-20, but in really, really muddy and wet conditions, it was a great physical game of football and great to see the boys put effort in at this time of the season. Looking back over to Acor Stadium and the curtain raiser over there, we had our New South Wales Cup get back to the winning circle uh, with a very commanding 30-0 win over Mounties. So hopefully those wins keep coming for the boys so they can get back into the uh, top five right before the finals. Uh, looking at our feature this week, uh, we caught up with our second last uh, Black Rabbits Elite Player Development Program night held at Redfern Oval recently. Let's see how that program's going in 2022. Uh, in his second year of existence, uh, the Black Rabbits Elite Player Development Program uh, was brought in to make sure that we could ensure that the top uh, young men and women identified uh, through our Pathways teams, uh, throughout all the grades, uh, were making sure that they were getting the elite uh, coaching both on and off the field they need uh, to make sure that they're best prepared to try and crack it into that elite system into the NRL. So part of the uh, Black Rabbit EPD program is that we do do monthly sessions uh, here at the NRL facility where these select young men and women uh, get to come in and have access to all our NRL staff. Uh, these NRL staff include people from our high performance department, so that includes strength and conditioning, nutrition needs, uh, and also our medical team from our NRL team, uh, making sure they're getting looked after. And then always we make sure they have access to some of our NRL coaching staff, whether that be our assistant coaches uh, in Ben Hornby, Steve Antonelli or John Morris, or in our development coaches in Joe Callahan and John Sutton. Uh, still in its infancy, as I said, only being two years into the program, we're quite happy with the success rate at the moment that we're getting out of the program. Uh, in year one, we had about 52% of our Black Rabbits graduates either move into uh, our NRL pre-season or NRL dev contract uh, system. Uh, we're very excited with our current group of graduates going into 2023 that we've got over 60% uh, are going to be heading into either doing some form of NRL pre-season, going on an NRL development contract, or even for a couple lucky ones, going straight into our NRL top 30. Uh, we're quite happy with that success rate at the moment, uh, based on how early the program's still going, with our main goal of this program to make sure we've got a constant succession of uh, players coming into our NRL system internally from our own grades. In the female space, uh, even though we don't have a WNRL team, we are quite happy that some of our inaugural Black Rabbits members, we've got a few have gone on to play in the WNRL for other clubs, uh, and also some great success stories of one of our Tasha Gale girls who came into our system this year, going on to make the New South Wales under 18 girls team recently. Great to see how that program's coming along now in its second year of existence, and really excited to see how all those young men and women uh, get ready for season 23 coming up. Uh, looking ahead to games this week, uh, our jersey flag will be the curtain raiser down at Shark Stadium this week up against Cronulla. Again, uh, looking off the back of that really great effort last week against Victoria to try and turn that around into a win. And our KOE New South Wales Cup will continue their push to try and make it into the final series with a huge top four matchup uh, against the Newtown Jets out at Henson Park on Sunday. Uh, it's going to be a massive crowd out there as part of the big food wine festival out there and we hope the boys can uh, ruin Newtown's big afternoon with a win. Uh, as always, please uh, check website closer to dates for kickoff times.